Well, 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 good evening folks, how you all doing? <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to episode 6 of Cooking Up The Blues or should that become known as episode 6 of Cook Up The Clusterfuck? <laughs> Let's see who's joined us so far. Hello Melanie and Gordon Angel, how you doing? Alistair Cunningham, hello, nice to see you Alistair. Bordy, Melanie Buchanan, Janice Stevenson. Drew Little John, hi Drew, how's it going? There's a video coming that I just put up for National for Cherry Wine, Drew, I know that's one of your favourites. And Jade, Rachel, Ian, Zirits, Ivor Corbally, Ivor Nizzy, how you guys doing? Uh, looking forward to playing for you all this evening and cooking up, <laughs> cooking up some recipes. Um, so hopefully everything's working and working in, in, a, in a kind of a way this evening. I've not had anybody saying there's no sound or there's an echo. So fingers crossed <laughs> for this evening that it's all going to be okay. We've got some barbecue, well, not some, it's a barbecue special for you tonight. Um, but before we head to the smoker, uh, there's some prep to do in the kitchen uh, after a song, of course. So I shall grab a guitar. And try not to stand on the iPad, which is uh, under my feet. <laughs> well, Margaret McDonald's watching. Colin Tamdale. Hi, Tabby. How you doing? What's Melanie saying? Wilf, are you in the house? I don't know. Are you, Wilf? And hello, Billy. I thought I'd play a different guitar this time. <laughs> Not this time. This week. This is one of my old retired nationals. It's, it's, it's a wee bit rusty. Um, but it's a lovely guitar. It's one of my favourites. It just doesn't go on the road with me anymore. <laughs> Adrian can't make it. Thanks for relaying the message, Melanie. And uh, Margaret's sticking her feet on. Oh, no, I think she just wants to listen to my music. Anyway, let's go. Let's get going with the song. Can't keep 
Bob Wrinkley Bottom as well. I see you're in the house or in the, the virtual house. Who else is on here? Let me just have a wee look and see what's going on. Jimbo McKellar, how you doing, Jimbo? Nice to hear from you. Black Water Band Guitars, O'Brien, Carol Wells, Cam Goodwin, hello, Leslie McLean. It's been a while, Leslie, how you doing? Brian Gillen, Philip Gower, John Tate, John, John Tate. And you bought this, oh, you bought this stuff for last week's burgers. How did they turn out, John? Have you, have you made them yet? Now, also, one of the things that was revealed to me last night, our pal Bill Mullen across in Florida, he's not American, he's from Dundee, so... Uh, don't hold that against him. Anyway, he uh, he does a live stream every Sunday night, 9pm UK time, God knows what time, anywhere else. He works it all out and puts up a post. It's beyond my uh, my, my remit to understand or know these things. But um, anyway, Billy was doing his live stream last night. There's a, it's a, usually an hour or two of lots of Scottish, Irish folk, plus a tinge of kind of country and Americana and some of his own stuff as well. And it's awesome. And we watch it every Sunday, religiously. And um, I, uh, oh, I've done something with my finger here. I don't know what I've done to my iPad. See, that's what happens when you fiddle without looking. <laughs> you go blind. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. Uh, yeah, so anyway, Billy last night let me know. He was getting an Instant Pot delivered today. So with all these Instant Pot recipes that have been on here, Billy, if you're watching, let us know how you're getting on with Instant Pot, if you plugged it in yet, or if you have indeed destroyed the kitchen. <laughs> Oh, wordy, wordy, wordy. Ian Simmons, hello. And Carol, Jackie Thiel, hello Jackie. How's it going? Right, without much further ado, although we'll have some further ado, the first thing we're going to need to do is prepare, is prepare <laughs> some barbecue sauce. Okay, we've got 120 millilitres of tomato ketchup for the barbecue sauce. Few drops of Tabasco. Four tablespoons of runny honey. Or in this case, agave. One. Two. Three. Four. Four tablespoons of apple juice. One, two, three, four. A few glugs of Liam Terms, Worcestershire sauce, whatever you want to call it. A few glugs? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. I like Worcestershire sauce. So we've got that in. A glug of balsamic vinegar. I reckon that's a glug. And under here... I have what is now a very crushed clove of garlic. The market's going to give me a row because it's probably not as crushed as it should be. But hey ho. Well, 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 there we go. How was that? That's, uh, now I've got a confession to make here. I've just spilt the beans on Margaret's secret barbecue sauce recipe. This is going to kick my ass. And Bob, I, I see you're on, out on the lock in the islands. Watch these wallabies now, man. <laughs> um, anyway, I reckon that that, uh, that barbecue sauce is better than most uh, shop-bought stuff. Well, we were trying to see the Northern Lights the other night, Bob, I see. Um, what else is happening on here? Hello, Martin. How's it going, man? It was good to see you yesterday. Good wee wander, getting the world to rights. Sheldon, hope you and Grace are doing good. Eileen McLaughlin, hello, hello, hello. So, anyway, welcome to everybody who's just joined us for episode six of Cooking Up the Blues. We've just made some very tasty barbecue sauce. I've spilt the beans on Margaret's secret barbecue sauce recipe and... Uh, if I want to offset um, her kicking my ass, I'm going to play a song. Whoop. 
but I've dropped stuff all over the floor. Luckily, I've not dropped the dinner all over the floor. It's a funny thing, it's quite good fun doing this. It keeps my hand in a little bit. I was, I was just wondering if I would remember the words to all these songs. <laughs> it's uh, un unlike our pal Bill, um, I've not got a list of 200 songs to play. Let's see if we can... Let's get some electric action. Evening Barbara Crooks, how you doing? You can probably hear me from your house. But uh, yeah, I need to get my practice in for uh, the Zoom concerts, these intimate concert Zoom sessions that are coming up in October. There'll be no room for messing about or clusterfucks on there. <laughs> anyway, let's play some rock and roll. I've played that. I probably played it in one of the last um, in one of the last full length concert live streams. But the more on the concert live streams later on. But we really need to think about getting back into the kitchen because uh, there's some more stuff to make. We are going to make some cornbread. I hope. <laughs>
Well, it was all going far too well, wasn't it? Now, I have no idea how to add some sound to myself here, so I'm going to mess around with this for a moment or two and see if we can't add some sound into this. But bearing in mind that I haven't a clue what I'm doing. I mean, you've gathered this. If you're watching every week, episode six, why should it be any different from anything else? So let's just see what's happening. Are we going to get anything coming in now on the on the B cam? This is what we're going to call the B cam. So I'm going to take you back and show you how to make the cornbread, and hopefully I'll be able to give you some voiceover this time. Well, it looks like we maybe do have some voiceover. It's dead easy, preheat the oven to 200 degrees centigrade. And at 125 grams of cornmeal, 125 grams of plain flour. Give it a mix. And a teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons, three teaspoons of baking powder. And I forgot to tell you about the sugar that I just put in. 50 grams, the recipe says 100 grams, but I think 50 grams is more than enough. Then give it all another mix. mix, mix, mix. Now, <laughs> I put all the wet ingredients in together. So I get 80 ml of vegetable oil and add in about 235 millilitres of milk. And chuck an egg in there. Then mix all the dry ingredients. Yeah, chuck the egg in. Give it a good mix. <laughs> oh dear me, this is this is getting funny. Give it a mix. Uh, chuck all the all the, all the wet stuff into the dry stuff. <clears throat> mix it all up until it's smooth. Here. Nobody can hear. Can you hear me now? I hope you can. Mix, mix, mix until it's smooth. <laughs> Give it a damn good mix. I'm shouting now. Difficult to shout over all this. Stuff. Now I've lined a cake tin with some bacon paper and just poured in the mixture. And give the tin a wee turn. I don't know what's wrong with our oven. We need to we need to give it a turn so it cooks evenly. Then shove it back in the oven for another 15 minutes. No, not another 15, another five minutes or so. Burn in 15 minutes. <laughs> After that five minutes, you can tell if it's ready. If you stick a skewer in and it comes out clean. See, dead easy. Much easier than trying to get all the audio and everything right here. <laughs> now I'm just wondering how on earth I'm going to do for the next one because there's there, there's some other stuff that I'm going to try and do this on the fly. But I've no idea if I'm going to manage this. So you have to bear with me while I fart about a little bit and uh, hopefully this will sort things out for, um, for later on. Anyway, where are we? We've done the barbecue sauce. We've done the cornbread. Kind of twice, because you couldn't hear me the first time round. And <laughs> it's all absolutely... Yes. How can I help? My watch is now talking to me. Now, I don't know about you, but there's something a bit strange about that. I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> Siri, fuck off. I'm not sure if it understands that at all. Because what I was meant to do was I was meant to really, really, really quickly... Run outside. So with a snap of my fingers, we should be outside. Whoa, look at that. Magical Doctor Who style transformation, I think. Anyway, <laughs> I love making mistakes. It shows you it's live. What's happening? I hope you're all having a good time and having a good laugh at me. Anyway, as you can see, we're now outside. Hello, Cindy Pierron. John Tate. Take that, Ramsey and Oliver. <laughs> And I can probably... Who, who's the guy that swears? I nearly said another bad word. 
Joe says, take your time. Joe, I'm panicking. I'm panicking, Joe. <laughs> Bill Mullen can hear. Dirk's watching. Bob, are you speaking to the wife? Paul, Paul Zucker, how you doing? <laughs> Alan, Kareen Angel. Didn't know. <laughs> Hello, Argy Van. Right, where are we? I've totally, totally lost the plot. But that, that, <laughs> that cornbread is a really easy recipe and everybody loves it. And also, I forgot to say while we were doing the recipe, if you've got a tin of sweet corn, we didn't have one to hand, you can drain it and then mix it through, through all the ingredients before you put it in the oven. And that works really, really well. It's very, very, very authentic. We just didn't have any to hand uh, just now to, uh, to do that with. Now, if you were watching last week, and many of you were, uh, you'll have heard about the two special Zoom concerts I'm doing on Monday the 19th of October, one at 8pm and one at 10pm. Uh, numbers are strictly limited because I want it to be kind of an interactive social kind of affair. So it'll be like a concert, but it'll be like more like a house concert so we can, we can all virtually interact. Uh, and all the info on how to be part of it, a lot of you have uh, booked places already, but all the info on how to be part of it is on my Facebook um, on my Facebook page that you're watching this on. That's facebook.com forward slash Davercarry Music. Or if you hit up my website, davercarry.com, www.davercarry.com, you will find some uh, information and all the links and everything you need to become and be part of that. Uh, now, another guitar. I think it's time for a song. Is it? Yeah. Let's play another song on the rusty guitar. <laughs> Oh, you can get eye tests, Bob. I, we, Margaret and I went for eye tests on, I think it was Thursday morning. <laughs> I got chucked out. No, I didn't really. It reminds me of a Beavis and Butthead episode. Oh, no, I'm not going to go down that route. <laughs> I'm going to play you a song. This is called Stick to Your Guns. <laughs> Everybody wants 
That's one of my last singles from uh, from this year. And uh, I think I messed up the end of it. Let's have a wee look and see what's happening here. Oh, I know what's happening. We're going to do the star of the show. First of all, thank you, Bob Wrinklybottom. Hello, Lance Kirkcaldy. How are you doing, pal? And uh, Melanie, Bob Wrinklybottom. I see <laughs> disappearing. Appeared on top of the hill. Appeared on the island, uh, Bob. Corinne, thank you. Paul McAnally, hello, hello, hello. And Margaret's replying to Karen. Peterman, hello, Karen. How are you doing? Thanks for all your enthusiasm and, and support and all this. Now, let's just see if we have this audio thing is going to work. Because now, let's smoke some ribs. Well, this shall be very interesting. I've got two racks of pork ribs here and if you can it's good to take the membrane off the back it doesn't always come off this easy it can be a wee bit difficult but persevere it makes a really funky noise you get it all off in a winner hello sorry hi brad sorry you're late and then sprinkle on some rub this is the rub i showed you a few episodes ago with the smoked chicken and it works great for pork too. Really good for pork. Get it on all the end bits and give it a good rub in. Then let the ribs sit in the fridge for a few hours or well, even overnight. Then get the smoker fired up. This loose lighter is pretty good. Really good for lighting tomato. And then stick in some wood chunks. I've got some cherry wood that I'm sticking in here. Apple wood works well for pork too. Get on with the heat deflector. And the grate. Hello, Lynn. And then a probe. Get a temperature probe, and that um, lets us monitor the temperature in the pit. Because I'm only doing a couple of racks uh, of ribs, I've cut them in half and don't need to use a rack. And there's plenty of space for them to sit in there, bone side down. Hello, John Gerard. How you doing? I like to keep the temperature in the pit between 220. 225 degrees Fahrenheit. Ian Zerns is glad he's not a baby. <laughs> After four or five hours, I brush in a little barbecue sauce, rub them and wrap them in foil, and give them another hour or so in the pit. It's not an exact science. Anyway, once they're ready, you can get them out of the tin foil. There's quite a lot of tin foil here. It's like the cling film episode. Then dish them up with some cornbread that you saw earlier. Some greens, and some barbecue sauce. Margaret liked hers on the side. She likes the barbecue sauce too. Hello, Mary Flanagan. And again, Brad. <laughs> Angela Monroe and Ivor Corbally. It looks bloody good. Well, you'll have to, have to come down, Ivor, you and Izzy. When all this cluster fucks over, shitstorm, we shall do some barbecue, even if we have to socially distance in the garden. So there we go, that was the ribs there. We're kind of like the star of the show. I'm not sure what I'm doing to my iPad here, but it's, oh. Thank you, Melanie. They, I have to say, they are amazing. They don't look like much, but when you've had proper smoked ribs, you'll never look back. <laughs> so don't forget about these two special Zoom sessions next month on the 19th of October. Uh, you can get the heads up on everything via my mailing list. Don't rely on Facebook because Facebook throttles most things and some people see stuff and some people don't and uh, it's, using Facebook is a bit like building your house on rented land. It's better to have people in your own little ecosystem. <laughs> so I'd like to invite you to come and join my mailing list if you haven't already. You'll get 10% discount on your next order from my online store uh, when you join the mailing list and also you'll get an, an email once sometimes twice a month with a heads up on what's going down. So if you go over to davarcarry.com or my Facebook page, davarcarry, facebook.com forward slash davarcarry music, you will get all the lowdown and all that. Well, thanks, Jillian. How's it going? Saw you watching, uh, saw you watching Bill's live stream last night as well. Hey, Steve P's getting hungry. Jackie Thiel says, yummy. Hello, hello. And oh, Keith. Anyway, that, I'm afraid, well, I'm not really afraid because this really stresses me out. You might have gathered that by my mistake, 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 clusterfuck. Oh, mamma mia, it's all going pear-shaped. 
Anyway, <laughs> that is it for this week. Join me next Monday for episode seven. Now, episode seven has got a couple of recipes that some people have been waiting and waiting and waiting patiently for. So that's going to be episode of cut episode seven of cooking up the blues. <laughs> same time, same place next Monday on this Facebook page. Thanks again for tuning in. It's been lovely to see you. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully see you all next week. And don't forget about the Zoom sessions. You'll find out all about them on my website. <laughs>